Hey guys, I hope you're well. So I never really want to waste your time. Um, if I do a video on, you know, um, document automation applications, you should know. I get straight to the point and I list the ones you should know. I've already sifted through a lot of the research and seen, seen what works, what doesn't. I've tried most of these applications myself. And if you want further details, you can always just pop a comment or email me. So the thing is with um, applying artificial intelligence, now, you really don't have to know much about AI, to be honest. Um, once you use the software, I, you get a rough idea about what you can actually do. So it's not like you're being told to um, develop these softwares from scratch. But what this article on using um, artificial intelligence in your firm does um, is that it basically gives you um, a guideline as to what you should use depending on what you need. So I've basically listed out the ones I'm impressed by. I'm most impressed by Robin AI. I talked about Robin AI in the previous video about document automation, but I didn't get into much detail. I attended, a, it was about a five day um, course with Robin AI, where they basically take you through the, the back, back end of their um, applications. They basically give you a roundup um, course on everything their software can do and I was really really impressed by it now the others I just know them from using them or like LexCheck I've never used but um, I've heard it has good reviews and um, that's why I put it next to four other options that I actually know but the the application of the artificial intelligence is pretty simple you basically read the article see what works what doesn't work for you and then I'll write a detailed um, a detailed argument about steps and due diligence because that's a bit of a longer um, article and uh, steps to follow as in when i mean when i say due diligence i mean basically what what you have to consider in terms of um you know what scale you need to apply this this software software if you even need to apply it and um how you need to train your staff and uh what kind of roles you'd be hiring for. And so there's a lot to do in terms of like due diligence and how to do the actual implementation, especially if it's a big firm. But if it's just you running your own practice, um, this is a good article for you. Or if this is, uh, or if you're a student or a um, job hunter who's looking for a law tech position, you're gonna be asked about three things. Like regardless of what the role entails, you'll be asked three things. You'll be asked about contract life cycle management, you'll be asked about document automation, you'll be asked about the use of artificial intelligence. So those three things, if you read these articles, I promise you I've pretty much summarized everything. Cram, if you have to just cram it, know these things, and then you'll be fine. Thanks guys.